vlog in New York City living by myself. Sorry, I don't live by myself. That's a lie, but basically I live by myself. Anyway, we have a new roommate, and I thought I would kick off the vlog by introducing you guys to him. Hi, baby. Say hi to the vlog. This is our new baby boy. He does not have a name yet. We're thinking Milo, Monkey, Pork Chop, or there was another option. He is beautiful. He is a baby. So I'm taking very good care of him. I love him so much. Hi, say hi. He likes you guys. He just had a nap. He's been sleeping pretty much all day. We got him last night. You wanna play? I got you some new toys. Ah, I think it's safe to say I have been long overdue for a pet. I am a stay-at-home mother already. I literally never leave the house. So I'm very excited to raise this little guy. Like literally for size reference, like this is my hand. He's tiny. Like let's go back up so we see how small he is. Like he's very small. He blends into this carpet. He's cleaning himself. <laughs> so I went to the pet store today and I got a few things for him. I'll do a little haul later. But I actually have some footage from last week when I went to go meet Selena Gomez. Which is actually crazy. So this is going to be a good vlog full of cute pets and Selena Gomez. So I'm going to put that footage in right now and then we'll get back to the vlog. Freaking out. We're freaking out. Ugh. You know Ruby and I were like, she's our icon. Nerdies. Literally she's the Disney Channel doll. You should say that to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I should. <laughs> That's funny. I should say that to her. I feel like maybe I'll be too nervous to say that, but whatever. I'll try. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say, guys. I literally don't know. Yeah, Ruby and I have been texting for the past two hours. Uh, what should we say? Do you have any sounds? Do you have this? I'm like... Blink, blink. We're like, uh, not really. <sighs> but... Poison in my veins, I used to sober Saw you last night, but I didn't know you Got too much drive, I'ma run them over Thought you were the one, tell me to a loner Give me long, yeah And I let you go, yeah Get some good alone Never let some proud of you, just like your mama Heart full of trauma, fiend for the commas If I catch a man's in the street, he gon' get bloodied up is a hand, you cut me off, I'm finna cut him up Yeah, I'm sick and tired of these bitches tryna shame me Pay me like I'm sweet, like I won't make them pay me And he throwing shade, so nobody finna sway me I don't fist, but I keep a motherfucking blade on me Now you turn me to a next day. I didn't film anything after meeting Selena Gomez. Um, this is here and we're doing content. I'm a gala. Gold Gaia. Luca's over there reading a contract. Um, so recap on yesterday. Selena Gomez is the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. Like, a hundred thousand percent I cried and I didn't really get good photos they're honestly very ugly anyway I'm not gonna fangirl too much more but she's literally beautiful an angel on earth when they dropped him off they gave us this little bed because this is where I guess he was with his mommy and I literally it breaks my heart to have to take away take him away from his mommy but I'm gonna be the best mommy I can. We put his bed, I got him this little bed, which is cute and fluffy. Oh my God, there's a little plastic thing. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Oh, that's horrible. 
um, got him this one. He loves being under this. So we've just put it here for now. And while he's a kitty, we've put his litter and his water. And I've kind of been hand feeding him. Oh, who's rolling over? You're rolling over. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Couldn't you just stare at him for days? Let's do a little quick haul of what I got him at the pet store today. I already had a lot of things. Um, or I bought a lot, like, I got all his food and stuff, but there's certain things he needs because he's been scratching and biting our fingers a lot, which I don't want him to get in the habit of, but he's, like, teething, so he needs something. If anyone has any recommendations, small kittens, like, any toys or something that I can give him in replacement of, like, when he starts biting my finger, please let me know. A little background, I've grown up with cats my whole entire life. Always had a cat at home. My family cat just passed away. My mom got a new kitty. And I saw her over my birthday when I went home and I fell in love and I was like, you know what? I live in this beautiful apartment. I need a kitty cat. And I got one. I really want a dog, but I don't, I want to give the pet an amazing life. And I do not want it to feel, like I literally feel like emotional, <laughs> like seeking it. Like I never want to like make a pet feel like neglected or not loved and I travel a lot obviously but luckily we travel separate times a lot of the time so I think someone will always be and I have some amazing friends and already people in mind who are more than happy to come and cat sit but I'm definitely not going to be going away super long trips anytime soon but I got him this scratching pad wait is there catnip in here I don't want him on catnip I might have to get a different scratching pad, but he's been scratching everything, so I need to get him stuff to scratch. Also, got some kitty nail clippers. Not God, I'm scared to clip his nails, but they are getting long. Oh, hi! Hi, cutie pie! Oh my God, I just want to show you guys everything. And then they suggested this for his teething, but just like cut off the plastic. Tiny little bowl, because he is so small right now, he can barely put his head in to a bowl. And I got churro for kitties, under one. Um, which is kind of just like a treat snack for cats. So yeah. Oh my god. Hi baby. Let me show you. Are you having fun? You're such a monkey. That's why I think your name should be Monkey. Guys, you don't understand. I'm literally obsessed with him. Like, what are you doing, you silly monkey? He hasn't pooped or peed yet, which I'm a little concerned about because he did eat. You like your new toy? Don't like that. That's that's dirty. Good morning vlog. Uh, it's the next day. I just did my makeup and I'm not really sure how it looks. My little pork chop is just taking a little nap. He was sleeping on me while I was doing my makeup, so I put him in his little bed. Camera's gonna die though, so I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes, do some content. Um and then the bathroom's really loud, but I'm at the end of my horrible breakout. Oh my god. I will insert a picture of the... It's this French. It's like... It's a very popular moisturizer. And I, you know, I saw some girl on TikTok using it. And I was like, let me just use it. It looks really moisturizing. Like, my skin is really dry. And it literally sent me down, like, a month of breakouts. Like, really bad. Um, and so... I think I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I have these two under the skin little breakouts that are just healing now. I think this one's still active, but this one is just healing. And then I have to go get a facial and get a bunch of texture extracted because the moisturizer gave me so many closed comedones and those will be the bane of my existence, I swear. Um, I'm very sensitive. Um, I have very sensitive skin, and I am now literally hyper aware of everything I'm putting on my face because I'm fucking sick of having bad skin. I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah, technically I think it's Easter Sunday. I'm going to Ella's, um, Lucy's sister's. She's doing a little Easter thing in a couple hours, so I want to do some content before that for Instagram. And I want to do a YouTube video too, so I gotta go. 
I'm switching over to my iPhone. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I've had my little green juice today and I also had a matcha. And I'm just still really tired because the cat woke me up very early this morning because he was hungry and wanted to play. So mommy got up for him. This is the coffee machine we have upgraded to. Literally has honestly been quite life changing. It's really quite the luxury, but I'm just obsessed with mugs. I like have been collecting them like crazy. Hopefully this is enough water. So I film a lot of these like outfit reels on my Instagram just because it's fun and it's like a different form a video fashion content. Anyway, I have this whole rack full of pieces I want to style slash um, outfits I've made slash new things. This little number that I want to try. Um, I have some new pieces from Farfetch that I'll show you guys later. But yeah, I'm gonna pick out some outfits to film. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Ignore the mess in the background, but I picked up some things from Farfetch um, that I want to share with you guys. Just come to say hello. I think he's a little hungry. He just woke up from a nap. Um, but I quickly wanted to show you guys what I got from Farfetch. Picked out some cute pieces for the springtime. Um, I'm gonna try them on and show you guys. If you guys don't know what Farfetch is, it's basically like a marketplace that sells several different brands, mostly luxury, I would say. And these are the pieces that I picked out. First is this Ghani, super dainty, delicate, gorgeous, little collared jacket. I think this is perfect for springtime. It's like this light, puffer jacket material. Um, I'm super excited to wear this. I love the collar. I think it's just perfect. Just so dainty. Um, and I like that it's a short jacket too. I love the strings, love the pockets. This is just everything. And obviously I love Ghani. And then I also picked up this going out fun top from Poster Girl. Um, I love the shimmer and it's like this bronzy gold. Um, it's kind of hard to show, but you guys will see this on. I'm also going to have these shown styled on my story if you guys want to follow me on IG. Um, ew, I hate that I said IG. Anyway, this is from Poster Girl. I got mine in a small, I believe, but it's like totally backless and like has all these ties and then this gorgeous little rhinestone buckle detail. So yeah, and then I thought... I'm super oily. I thought that would look good with these 80s pleather, like patent leather straight leg pants. I've been wanting these forever. I love the butt stitching. I think these are just a classic. I got them in a 26. 
I'm hoping to fit well. 80s pants usually run small, but again, you'll see in the try on. I do have a discount code for you guys, which I will leave on the screen here. So feel free to use that on the Farfetch website. Thank you so much, Farfetch, for sponsoring today's video. Pork chop. Pork chop likes Farfetch too, right? All right, it's time to go feed this little boy. He loves playing with the weights, so we just leave them out. It's like a little obstacle course for him. He likes seeing if he can balance. Hi. Hi. Hi, I love you. Hi. You wanna play? No, you're hungry. Who's a hungry boy? Pork chop's a hungry boy. <laughs> All right, there's a couple things. Oops, there's a couple things I definitely didn't get done today. I didn't film the spring lookbook, but it's okay because I planned all the outfits and I will get that done tomorrow for you guys, which is exciting because I haven't done an outfit video in a while. Um, I was supposed to take some pictures for Instagram. Didn't do that. Maybe I can do that tomorrow too. Deep up pictures, also didn't do. Hi hey, baby. Boy wants attention, I need to hang out with him. But every single time I hang out with him, he doesn't want to hang out. Look. <laughs> Cyberspace was a waste and now you're 22 You got a big ass mood, girl, you need help All these followers, but you ain't even leading yourself So you be getting high, banging my line Wasting all of my time, I guess I'll find Every reason why I should make you cry The liquid